Welcome to online worship. It is Sunday, September 20th. As we begin our worship, we are going to show you some announcements as we prepare our hearts for worship. It is so nice on this fall feeling morning to gather together. And as we gather, we're going to start with uh, a song. And the song that we are going to begin with this morning is When We All Get to Heaven. get to heaven and that hymn it describes the joy of when we all get to heaven what a great rejoicing it will be right when we all get to heaven we're going to see those that we love we're going to sing songs it's going to be amazing and yesterday we had a service for jerry swan who passed away and i described what heaven will look like for jerry lots of grass to cut lawns to mow because that's what he loved uh, lots of golf, right? You think of all of the things that you loved on earth, and the joy of what we experienced on earth is a promise of what our life eternal is going to be. But when we all get to heaven, what if there are surprises for us? People that we wouldn't have expected to be there, that God's redeeming grace and love and forgiveness welcomed into heaven. When we all get to heaven, it'll be a day of both rejoicing and surprise. Your scripture today is from Matthew 20, and I provided for you on a copy here, And uh, but if you bring your Bible, you would turn to Matthew 20. And what it is, is it's a scripture where, God, where, where Jesus describes what the kingdom of heaven will be like. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out in the early morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing in the marketplace idle, and he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I'll pay you whatever's right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock to the market, he did the same. And at about five o'clock, 
he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, <clears throat> the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. <clears throat> now, when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last worked only one hour, and you have made them as equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So, Jesus concludes, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The word of God for the children of God. Thanks be to God. Lord God, we give thanks to you that you have brought us together this day, that as we gather in this space, both in the sanctuary or watching it online from our homes this day, that you are drawing us closer to you through your word, through your parable this day. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of each and every one of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, almighty God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. If you were to picture a map of Calvert County, for instance, you could have a map of Calvert County that shows you all of the main roads, right? It'd be a road map. You could also take a map of Calvert County and it could show you the elevation points. And I understand that the elevation point here at Mount Harmony is supposedly the, one of the highest points in the county. You could also have a completely other map that just showed you where all the restaurants are. And that would be a very different map. The parables that Jesus gives us, these parables that begin, the kingdom of heaven is like, the kingdom of God is like, each of those parables is like a map showing us different aspects of the same place. The kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God, those are interchangeable phrases. They are not just the heaven that we get to after our last breath, but they are the heaven of the new heaven and earth, the fullness of time, what life will be like when God has restored all of creation. And Jesus gives us these parables to show us and highlight the different aspects of it. And so today, the aspect that he is showing, the primary point, is that the first will be last and the last will be first. Evidently, there are people who thought that they were the first welcomed in to this heavenly world. There are people in Jesus' time that he's speaking to that understood themselves to be the chosen people. Matthew, in the Gospel of Matthew, is really speaking to primarily to people who were of a Jewish understanding. These were Jewish people who knew themselves to be God's chosen ones. And what Jesus is saying is that because you were chosen, because you came first in the story of salvation doesn't mean that you're going to get any more than those who will come later. Those who are Gentiles. Those who will come thousands of years later, such as us. All of us are going to be given the blessing and the generosity of God 
in an equal way. And that can feel very unfair. I've noticed that in organizations, it's often those who have been there the longest that can sometimes feel as if they have the right to hold certain positions of power or certain authority or do certain things, right? And so when you're in an organization, whether it's the church or the firehouse or your own employment, you know how people can be like, well, she just started last month, and why does she get to do this? That is part of our human understanding. And yet the God that we serve, the one who is the king of this kingdom on earth and on heaven, has a completely different way of judging and figuring things out. And Jesus is showing us if we have an allegiance to this God that we love, we may be quite surprised on how God loves in an equal and unending way. So the first people who get there, they're given an agreement. You're going to get 20 bucks for the day. And so as they receive their $20, they're thinking, well, why did the person who just showed up at the last minute also get 20 our understanding of how things should be, our values, our perspective, if we were the king on earth, what we would do is very different from how God would rule. In the Bible, we find again and again a surprise when we discover that God loves those that are the least, that God forgives those that are the ones that we think are unforgivable. And yet, we testify that God loves us and God forgives us. And so, in so many ways, we have a perspective that our God is loving to us. Our God is our Savior. Our God is my friend on the journey. But when God becomes a friend on the journey to those that we don't see, as friend. It doesn't sit quite right. The point of Jesus' parable is to help us understand that those ways on earth and those ways in our life now that we look and determine ranking and we look and determine how things are to be is a very different perspective of how God rules. And if the point is, is that God rules that the first is last and the last is first, it means that God sees all across time as one. In the last couple of weeks, we've been doing the school kids in the morning. They come to the church and they're for kindergarten through second grade. And they have to line up at the end of their morning time playing they all know now that they have to line up. And they know where the start of that line is going to be and where the end of that line is going to be. And the teachers have gotten into a habit of they go in line of where their backpack is placed. So the child who shows up first will get to put his backpack at the front of the line. And then the next child is going to put it right in the next spot because I say, line your backpacks up. Well, now they've gotten to figure out that if I come late, I just need to move the backpack from the front so that when 10 minutes when they call it, I'll get to be first. The point of being the first is last and the last is first. Sometimes gets translated as put others first or don't fight to get to the front of the line. Perhaps what we have to do next is switch around the end of the line as the first and surprise them so that they can understand that the point of getting in line is not that you're the best in the first. The point is we are all together. The word of God for the children of God. Thanks be to God.
in prayer. Lord God, we are the sheep of your flock. We are your people. And as we hear this parable this day, may our hearts draw allegiance to you, even in the times when we don't understand how your love can be so far and so wide. Help us to love you and, and love one another, that we might be for the world your expression of grace and love. Lord, we pray this day for the places where our hearts ache, for unrest in our country and for sickness in our families and loss in our communities. We pray this day for those that are mourning the loss of loved ones, for those that are thinking this morning about their loved ones that are in hospice, or hospitalized, or in recovery at home. Lord, we give thanks for the celebrations of new life that we find all around us, for the joy of birthdays, anniversaries, for new starts, and for new births. Lord, may we grow in our faith and be widened in our awareness that you call us to a life and a new creation and that you give us so loving and generously. May we walk in faith the days on our, our days ahead that we can without fear commit ourselves to you and to one another. Lord, we pray in the name of your Son, who described for us the inner work that we must do to relinquish our own will to yours, the beauty of heaven being restored on earth. As we pray together the prayer that he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Our offering is uh, going to be taken as you, uh, it's not going to be collected necessarily, it's an offering that you're going to give as you, as you came in or as you exit. This month is also Red Bird Month, and Red Bird Mission is a mission in Appalachia, and you might remember that usually we have red birds all over the church. So uh, to this month, if you would like to give to Redbird Mission, that could be an extra mile giving for you. Let us give thanks for the gift of being able to give as we stand together and join in our song of gratitude. <laughs> Worry about nothing. 
walk in faith and find a friend for the journey, for we are blessed to be a blessing. And let us go now in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.